starts up, runs fine. Idle drops down like it's supposed to. Alright guys, so this is the parts car as far as um, a lot of the parts that he's going to take off. He went to AutoZone and just purchased around, it cost him like, like 300 plus, maybe around $80 for the clutch already that you already have, right? And so pretty much it's like almost 450 plus engine, I mean as far as parts car, it's not, it don't cost that much. I mean, how much did you get for the parts car? 600 bucks for this parts car that comes with all the parts that you're going to potentially need if the body or anything on another car that you come across um, has issues or problems. This engine right here came out of this one and this is what's going to be used in this car right here you guys. And he's going to replace the clutch, um, pretty much all of the valve cover seals, gaskets, grommets for the spark plugs, um, water pump, oil pump, everything from the seals and all the fluids and everything are going to be replaced on this. I got to be careful because it's wood on here. But um, we're going to change the clutch right now. So he ordered everything for the seals and all the gaskets and everything. So they'll be coming here in the next few days. So we're going to continue that. So let's get it. Enid, Oklahoma is where this car came from. So I don't know if you guys are from Oklahoma. Drop a comment. If you guys have this kind of issue with your vehicles and engines, getting this type of clay type dirt all over it. Um, but tried to power wash it and use the greaser and stuff like that and it kind of like stained the it kind of like stained the metal like stained the aluminum and stuff on the transmission all you guys got to do to take off this drain bolt on the bottom three it's ratchet and then uh just pop it out and you're good usually if you guys are going to do something like this it's a lot easier for you to do it before you actually take the cv shafts out while removing the transmission if you're going to um change the fluid and everything like that or change the clutch yeah because you're gonna have a big mess as far as um, moving it around and you can see just trails that you get left on the concrete. But definitely remove that first, drain it, and then pop your CD shafts out so that way you don't have a big mess everywhere. I got one last bolt on the top up here. Um, these are 17s. Um, we had 119, some 17s, 14s right here for the starter, and then some 12s that we had for some brackets that were right here for a sensor that was there. Um, we're about to take off the last bolt and should come off. We ran to Harbor Freight real quick. This is nine bucks. This is a 3 8 spline socket set. So we needed the 3 8 or 10 millimeter. These are metric. So we went and got those so that way we could take off this flywheel and plate. So, we didn't have the size, and now we do. Well, it should work. Hey, they're not even torqued that hard, because nope. you use this one. Yep. So we can use the same thing, then? Yep. Tighten one to see what it does. Okay, let me see. Just to kind of see. Yep, you yes, Yep. With this, with this right here, we'll be fine. Yeah. It'll get it to where it needs to be. Oh, shoot. How bad was it? Gone. Gone? Yeah. There's no no like brake pad on it. It's metal. <laughs> Alright guys. We went ahead and popped this seal out and then popped the new one in. Um what we did was we used the old one and then tapped it in until it was flush. Right there. One. That one. Right there. There one. Yep. There you go. Just turn it until basically it lines up with its pin and then leave that in there and then just tighten them down. Pull this out and you can mount the transmission back up and you're done. That's good. And pull it out. There you go. Yep. You set. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Morning time. Another day. Yesterday you guys seen that it was raining. We ended up finishing the video late, around probably 10 o'clock. We didn't stop until we got the clutch changed, rear main seal done, everything. So today, Chris went and got the wheels for the High Civic. And also we have the engine sitting over here, transmission already back, everything ready to go. And we already got all the seals and everything ready. Everything's laid out on the ground right here. I'll explain that to you guys here in a second. Let me show you guys what the wheels look like. These are the High Civic wheels that we are going to um, sand down and paint. 
this is what we're going to use as far as for the high civic to have everything matching close enough to where the design that is on the movie um it's pretty much like if you guys pay attention to um building these high civics if you guys see other videos that are out there they'll tell you the main thing and the hardest thing to find is replica type wheels so this is something that he found on facebook marketplace and the tires are bad um luckily i had a whole set of four by 117s and all the tires that i have for these ones are ready to go these wheels right here we'll probably just scrap them or something i'm not really sure what we're going to do with them but we're going to take the tires off of here he went ahead and got those from me and there we go if you guys know anywhere that we can find the actual replica wheels leave a little clip right here right around my finger i'm gonna put a little clip of a, a image of what the wheels look like and i think they're axis wheels 17s if you guys know or any know where we can buy them let us know um, in our area here in kansas it's hard to find anything but we did find something similar that we're grateful for at least to finding to be able to use for now um all right guys so we got the engine on the we got the engine on the cherry picker um, we just went ahead and changed the chain got everything adjusted so that way we can work on this whole area because we are going to have to remove the timing cover alternator belt power steering belt everything to go and get the main pulley off and get in here to take take off the oil pan and change everything from oil pan gasket to everything that we have laid out here so we have the whole timing assembly tensioner bearings everything for it and the belt we're going to replace and the water pump we have the oil oil pan gasket um this is just simple stuff that we also are going to change as far as the oil filter um fuel filter motor mounts he's got the transmission mount the passenger driver motor mount um cam seal and oil pump so you can see how these mount you have to completely remove the oil pan off of there so in the process process of doing that we're going to replace oil pan gasket and then also he's got thermostat and valve cover gasket so everything should be set on that transmission everything is already back together you guys can see that we already bolted everything up and made sure that uh the clutch and everything is uh connected right one thing that i haven't showed you guys on the channel yet that i've been so busy with is this little s10 i got this s10 and been working on it for a while um basically right now i raised the front up another inch because I did have these um, two ton coils on it. But as far as this little S10, I'm gonna have videos on it soon. It is bagged with a four link. It's got bags and four link on the back. It's got a little compressor kit and everything on it. But I just show you guys something simple. I'm, I'm gonna have this truck for sale. Well, it is for sale, but we're gonna think about painting it real quick. I'm gonna probably paint it and then uh, then sell it same price probably not nothing more or less but 5500 you guys if you guys interested in it we're gonna go ahead and take off everything right here get this done before it gets dark we don't got that much sunlight so we're gonna get to it we got valve cover off um got to take that off because you have to um, be able to access this uh timing cover piece and it's kind of sealed up on this edge right here with it um, we're gonna try a breaker bar on here. We went ahead and took off the Flywheel cover the dust shield and you got to remove that anyways to get to the oil pan So it's okay for the oil pan gasket for us to do it. Um, we went ahead and put a screwdriver Inside here to stop it. We're gonna go ahead and try to get a bar that's big enough Chris got one right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to taking it out that way Usually it's easier when the vehicle it's usually it's easier when the engine's still in the vehicle because the CV shafts stop the, the engine from moving. So we're gonna try it with this and see what happens. So little trick, we put a screwdriver in there and uh held the flywheel from moving and lowered it down on the cherry picker a little bit, used the pry bar to break it loose, and then we use the impact. So it worked. Now let's continue. All right guys, so we removed the oil pickup tube and we got the oil pan off as far as all the bolts and to be able to replace the gasket. Also, this already looked like it was replaced as far as the seal. Try to keep all the, the bolts in the spots because they're all different sizes, especially when you guys are doing something like this. We're installing the oil pump right now. 
and what we're doing is we are going around the top of this side around this all the way through thin little layer around everything just on the edge of it basically where it meets up to this spot right here so everything around this area and then as far as everything else that's it before we put this belt on we went ahead and took the seal out of there um the old one is somewhere in here but we went ahead and popped the new one in there as far as the one that we had um went ahead and put this back got it on top dead center as far as the two markings that it has you can see those markings that uh, are on both sides of the can. There's a marking down here on this side that points to top dead center on the oil pump. What we did was we uh, left the tensioner just a little barely, a little bit tight um, as far as putting this on the belt. And then what we did was we turned it one complete turn and then we went back three teeth, pushed up on this and then uh, tightened it down. And we got a little bit of slack on this side and then a little bit of slack on this side where, I mean, it's not too tight but it's just perfect so i think it's gonna be fine everything's on top dead center and we already spun this about three times or so so everything's straight and so a quick little tip that i want to show you guys um as far as just installing these it literally takes like two seconds um i already got two of them done but i wanted to make sure that i showed you guys before i got too far ahead of myself put it on both of them rub these together put one of the grommets on it also the other grommet, and then what we'll do is find the 10 millimeter, bam. Basically just tighten them down, and um, they pop right on. Just like that. All right, guys, we went ahead and used the little tractor to move over here to this spot. Um, garage is going to be built in this area. This is the concrete that I was telling you guys that was being built. So they had just barely got done cutting it. As far as making it in the garage and doing the sides, they're going to do a carport and then do the sheets on the sides. But at least we're getting more room. They're getting out of the way. Um, he did put the fluid and let it run for a little bit to make sure that uh, fans kick on, AC kicks on, everything works. And so he's going to start it right now so you guys can see what it sounds like. Starts up, runs fine. Idle drops down like it's supposed to. Uh, 175, 180 and turns the, the fans turn on. Doesn't sound bad. It won't sound bad for a little high civic. <laughs> and that's um on stock headers too. It's not even aftermarket ones. So, I mean, it would definitely be louder if we put the other ones on there. But OEM is the way to go for the most part. No oil leaks. Um, no water leaks. No problems. No issues. Um, we do just need to put the CV shafts. Um, he's waiting for the seals for the transmission. So that way we can change those seals out and then pop those in. Next videos and everything else is just going to be body work. So we're going to have to sand all this down, get everything situated, and then start um, the whole process of finishing the build. We already got the wheels um, close enough to the ones we want. And just need to paint it. Got everything else ready to go. I'll put a link for the um, other video. You guys can catch up on that if you guys are watching this video for the first time. So that way you can go to the other video. There will be a link in the description. You guys can check out that and get the whole introduction on why this car is being built. And in this video too, I'll give you guys a little reminder right here because the Eclipse is still over here. And we will pull this out and give a review video for you guys soon. On to the next build uh, video, you guys, so we can continue this. So like, comment, subscribe, and i see you guys on the next one. We like a rock, smoke weed like a rock. She call me Papa, she call me Papa. Time to spurge like pockets, spurge like pockets. You know they can't stop us, you know they can't stop us. Keep my mind at ease.